Hey guys, so this video is going to be more of a concept video on how and when to use pixel searching. Obviously you can use it whenever you want, but I just want to give you some cases when you would want to use pixel searching, how you might want to use it, how it could be used in a situation, etc. So the first example is going to be, say, to detect if your character gets attacked. You'll have a health bar, and you'll detect if the health goes down using pixel search. If the health goes down to a point that you don't like, then you can do certain things. In the latest spot that I made, I was mining, and I didn't want my character to take any damage at all because a very overpowered PvP player could blow me up in one second. So the pixel search I used to detect health in this game, if it detected any damage at all, it would get out of there. Obviously, this would be different depending on what you needed your bot to do. Another example, using RuneScape, um, when you would mine the ore, the ore vein would deplete. So, when you first go up to the ore, it has a shiny color to it. After you're done mining the ore, the shiny color is gone. This is an example of when you can use pixel searching. You can use pixel searching to detect if this ore is mineable and when it is no longer mineable. This kind of leads me into my next point, using pixel searching to determine how long you should wait for something. So using the mining example in RuneScape, if you're familiar with it, um, it takes a different amount of time to mine the ore each time. So this time while you're mining it, it might take a second to mine it, and then it's depleted. The next time you mine it, it could take 15 seconds. If you were to hard code a sleep in there, like, you know, mine the iron, wait five seconds, go on to the next one, you might still be mining when you go to the next one and you'll get detected for botting. Another example is using it to detect uh, speed. So let's use a race game, right, that has a speedometer. You can use pixel searching to see when your car is accelerating and when it's not accelerating and then you can use that to say okay well when i stopped accelerating let's go ahead and do this again this would be used to help detect accurate sleep times another example of when you might use pixel searching is like what we did in the video where we were dealing with flashing pixels so basically if you're dealing with something that's flashing or it has a lot of color variations maybe because it's slightly transparent you know, you could do what we did in that video to get an accurate result. Another use case for pixel searching is what I'm doing here. So I made a bot that will automatically do jump cuts for my videos. It's actually editing the video you guys are watching right now. So this is another scenario where you can use pixel searching to do something unique. Now, if you're having a hard time getting the pixels, getting the right uh, results that you want, try incorporating variation. Maybe your variations are too high, maybe they're too low. Maybe you're not searching for the right color, maybe you need to grab another color. On that note, if you're trying to get the color of something that's very small, what I'd like to do in those situations is I take a screenshot, paste it into paint, and I zoom in as far as possible and find the exact color I'm looking for. Doing that though is a tiny bit tricky because while you can get the exact color you're looking for, you can't get the exact coordinates for that color because you have it opened up in paint. But that's fairly easy to get around. Another thing about pixel searching is make sure you set the search size only as large as you need it to be. Pixel searching will take up hardware space, it'll use processing power, and you don't want to be doing enormous pixel searches in a loop that's just constant. So you would want to have it as large as you need it, but no larger, or in other words, as small as possible. To demonstrate how slow pixel searching can make it, I'm showing you what the pixel search bot looks like with the video editing. You can see just how fast this mouse is moving when I disable the pixel search. The only thing I disabled was pixel searching. But if you go back in the video, maybe 10 seconds, you'll see how slow it was as it was trying to search for the color of audio. So pixel searching can be, to some extent, intensive on the hardware, and you wanna make sure that you do that as minimally as possible. Another thing you can do if you're having a problem detecting a pixel is this. For this demonstration, I've made a little health bar. Let's say you're trying to detect this color red right here for the health bar. For some reason, you just can't get the color. And it's really upsetting because you're trying to get it to work and it's not working. It's this bold color red. Why are you missing it? So when I'm dealing with situations like this, I could spend all day long trying to figure out what's wrong. Or what I do sometimes instead 
is instead of searching for this color red, I'll search for the background of the health bar. So with all games, when you start losing health, this color red will start to go down and down and down until it reaches the end and you have no health and you've died. Well, if I can't pick up this color red, maybe I should pick up the back of this health bar right here. So when the health has gone down, I'll grab the color for an empty health bar. And if I detect empty health bar, by default, that means my health has gone down, so I don't have to look for the color red. I'll just look for an empty health bar. And if I find an empty health bar, I can do the same thing I was trying to do looking for the red, except without the problem. So that's another way that you can do it. Now, if you're having problems with your pixel search function and it's not working, here's a couple things you can do. For starters, make sure that you have the pixel search function return into a variable. I'm pretty sure you can have this variable be called whatever you want, but the point is it has to be returned to a variable. Also make sure there's a dollar sign before the variable and not an at sign or a number sign. It has to be dollar sign. Make sure you typed the pixel search word correctly. Make sure you have both parentheses. Make sure that your coordinates, the coordinates that you're searching for are the right size. Make sure that the color you're looking for is the best possible color you can get. You wanna make sure it's the most present color there. If you accidentally grabbed a shade variation, that's there's only one of them in the whole color you're looking for, that's not good. With shade variations, make sure you chose the right size. If your variation is too big, it'll detect false positives. If it's too small, it won't detect anything. Make sure that when you're checking for an error, you do it like this. If not error, then, and then your code. You can do if error, then your code, but you can't do if not chord. So we have a variable up here that's being set to the result of our pixel search. If you're searching for chord or not chord, which is our variable, this won't work. You have to search for an at error or a not at error. Like I said before, if you're having a hard time getting the right color, take a screenshot, zoom in all the way in some kind of paint program, and grab the coordinate that you think is the best. Maybe you need to get creative? Do the health bar example. Instead of searching for the color you're, you need, look for the absence of the color you need. Maybe you have to do what we did in the flashing color example. You could also just flat out try searching for something else. Maybe there's more than one way to identify if the thing you're looking for is happening. To use an example, say you're playing a game as a magic character and you want your bot to be able to tell when you cast some magic. The way you're looking for it right now is you're trying to see if the screen shows a firebolt. Now that could work, but it's gonna be hard. An, other, an alternative way of doing this search is say, checking your hotkey. So in the game, normally, they have little hotkeys at the bottom showing all your magic skills. Instead of searching for the firebolt, search for your skill being on cooldown. If all that doesn't work, try using the pixel get color feature. That way you can tell if it's working or not working. You can guarantee that you're getting the right color for the thing that you're searching for. And that way, if there's a change right there, right where you looked, you'll know. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to go over some ways you can use the pixel search function, um, what you can do in possible error scenarios, how you can identify problems. That way you can figure out on your own what's wrong with your code, how you can fix it, how you can make something better. Anyways, thanks for watching.